SCP-1938 Object Class Safe Special Containment Procedures SCP-1938 should be held in a standard safe object containment cell. The cell is to be sealed in such a way as to prevent water from being introduced into the cell. No aquatic life apart from SCP-1938-1 should be placed into SCP-1938. Description SCP-1938 is an aquarium capable of holding up to 450 liters of water. It appears to be filled with water and to contain a filter, thermometer, a layer of pebbles at the bottom, and large pieces of coral. In addition, various aquatic organisms, hereafter referred to as SCP-1938-1, have been noted to materialize inside the tank. These fish do not match any known terrestrial species of marine life. Instances of SCP-1938-1 will disappear if SCP-1938 is drained of water. Behavior patterns of SCP-1938-1 resemble those of Boschia macrocantha. Additionally, if any adolescent person, hereafter referred to as the user, submerges any portion of their body into SCP-1938, they will appear to vanish for approximately 15 minutes, after which they will reappear in a spot within 15 meters of their original location. Users will report that they were teleported into SCP-1938 in the form of a small fish, and that they were in a feudal-style underwater civilization populated by instances of SCP-1938-1. This civilization is usually described as having characteristics similar to the traditional interpretation of a utopia, with every instance of SCP-1938-1 reporting great satisfaction with their life and an eagerness to positively interact with the user. The time the user perceives having spent in SCP-1938 ranges from two hours to one week. Note that SCP-1938-1's behavior does not reflect the observations of the user during this time. Of particular note are several interactions where instances of SCP-1938-1 have inquired after Foundation personnel under the effects of SCP-1839. It is unknown where or through what means the instances of SCP-1938-1 acquired their knowledge, and further investigation is recommended to ensure containment of both anomalies is properly maintained. If any species of fish that are not instances of SCP-1938-1 are introduced into the tank, all instances of SCP-1938-1 will immediately change into copies of this introduced species. These new organisms, hereafter referred to as SCP-1938-2, will behave in a much more erratic manner than instances of SCP-1938-1, but apart from behavior and appearance, they share the properties of SCP-1938-1. However, if the user attempts to use SCP-1938 while it is populated by SCP-1938-2, they will have a different experience. Users will report that they found themselves in an area described as similar to the location found when using SCP-1938-1, but in a state of severe instability. This area will be populated by instances of SCP-1938-2, which are invariably hostile towards the user. In addition, users will report that their experiences in SCP-1938 last for an extended amount of time, 
with the longest reported being approximately <coughs> days. Note that no matter what users experience during this time, they will not sustain any injuries. Addendum This note was recovered with SCP-1938. An amazing new product from Dr. Wondertainment. Have you ever wanted to go for a swim with your very own ocean buddies, but never got to go to the beach? Now, with the new Dr. Wondertainment's Amazo Dive Tank, you can swim with all the coolest creatures under the sea. Watch as the ocean buddies become real right before your eyes. Become a fish and explore Aquatopia. Breathe underwater. Do amazing tricks with your ocean buddies. Parental warning. Dr. Wondertainment's Amazo Dive Tank is only for use with Dr. Wondertainment's Ocean Buddies. Do not introduce any fish that are not Ocean Buddies into the Amazo tank. Dr. Wondertainment is not responsible for any harm sustained as a result of misuse.